Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I'm your host Edi Kanobut. This is Isaac News. And today Isaac Kanobut is talking about NNPC. NNPC was once a government institution and is now a private company. In fact, it is called the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. Okay, it is now a, li a limited liability company that would pay tax, that will run independently. But the Nigerian government is controlling NNPC by um, owning um, over 50% of the shares in NNPC. So the Nigerian government is a majority shareholder through the Ministry of Petroleum and the Ministry of Science or Tech. There are two ministries that buy that bought shares in NNPC and they own majority shareholders on behalf of the government so that they can make the major decisions within NNPC and control it in a way. So basically, NNPC does a lot. In fact, they are the ones that pay our subsidy. Those of us who don't believe in social subsidy, social subsidy is real. We spend <clears throat> six, seven, eight trillion naira a year subsidizing fuel. A liter of fuel should be sold for a dollar. In fact, the landing price of petroleum at the different depot when they are being imported, the landing price is one liter, one dollar. Government pays over it seventy percent of the money we should be paying for petrol, and we pay thirty to twenty-five percent. Okay, it is fact. You may not be happy about it, but this is the truth. And NNPC is the one paying these things. See, paying first subsidies you now. First subsidy will be over. By the time Dangote comes upstream, they will cut it. And as a country, would we'll go through a very painful situation necessary to bet the new Nigeria. So please, <laughs> dark days are coming in a way. But what about NNPC? Are we supposed to look at today? So NNPC actually, um, sometime last year, released over 621 billion uh, naira for the repair and for the construction of federal roads in Nigeria. 621 billion naira was released by NNPC to repair and to construct federal roads. Okay, but the major news is that it is, as we speak right now, it is on the, it is planning to release one trillion naira to revamp selected roads. It's planning to release one trillion naira to revamp to revamp selected routes in Nigeria. So um, a lot of um, a chunk of the routes that um, needs to be constructed by NNPC would go to the north. So in the first phase, NNPC is expected to construct a total of one thousand eight hundred and four kilometers of route. One thousand eight hundred kilometers of routes. That was the expectation at first when it was being valued at 600 billion naira. In fact, more specifically, 621 billion naira. With 621 billion, we wanted to do 1,800 kilometers of routes with the North Central getting the highest chunk of that money. So the North Central was, um, um, their own share was 244.8 billion naira. That was the share that was allocated to the North Central, not to somebody. That was the share set aside by NNPC to construct routes within the North Central. So North Central would include states like Abuja, Ninja, um, um, Kogi. Um, I'm trying, I'm learning geography, small, small, but those are the states I currently know that are in the North Central. So 244 billion is going to the North Central. And you may say, why? This is... Uh, tribalism. This is marginalization of the South South. Please don't say all those things. Why is NAPC doing that? There are more roads need to need to be built in the northern part of the country. Literally speaking, literally speaking, this is no conspiracy theory. This is not being biased. This is not being um. It's not being an ethnic bigot. This is just fact. More roads need to be built in the northern part of Nigeria, being that it is over two thirds of Nigeria. Over two thirds of Nigeria is not is the, the north is two third. Names of landmass two third of Nigeria is not north central, north west, north east. Uh, that's all. Not not north. Uh -huh. North west, north east, north central, not north. Two third of Nigeria by landmass is north, and the and the south has more roots than the north. So a lot of money is going there in order to also help them with all their modernization and infrastructure development. Guess who is second in line? Is south south. South South that has plenty of roads. We are still second with about 172 billion naira that have been allotted 
to revamping and uh, this thing, constructing routes within the south south. The southwest is collecting about 81 billion naira. Why? A lot of the southwest has been heavily developed. Lagos has been heavily developed. Ogun has been developed. Oshun has been developed. A lot of these states have been developed. Not developed in the sense of wow. No. It has been better developed than other regions of the nation. Which is why just 81 billion is going to it. Imagine the whole north is 56 billion. A very big place. Southeast, hmm. 43 billion naira going to southeast for road construction and road um and uh, uh, road construction and road repair and the north place is receiving the least amount of money with 23 billion naira going to the northwest so this is this is a very very laudable one by the nnpc it will interest you to know that this one trillion is an additional figure to the already released 60 621 billion naira so we have the NAPs are already set aside 621 billion naira for operations, and it is now planning to release one trillion naira. So this is 1.6 trillion naira for just road construction. Why is all this happening? So when um, a few years ago the president came up with something called the tax credit scheme, the tax credit scheme is where the president went and met and told very big billion dollar companies in Nigeria and told them, "See what we're going to do. We're going to reduce your tax." If you do certain things, so if you're supposed to pay, for instance, one trillion naira as tax, if you if you go and build roads and build infrastructure, we, we would make you pay seventy percent and keep thirty percent for yourselves. Let us say MTN now was supposed to pay a trillion naira for tax. Government will say, okay, don't pay one trillion. Instead, take seven hundred million naira and do a and carry out and start a project. Undertake a project from start to finish. For 700 million naira and then keep 300 million naira for yourself. Now, I'm not saying this is the exact figure, but basically, the government was giving them a cut, a discount on their tax so that, so that they can use um, they can use this money that have paid tax to government to actually build and create infrastructure. So Dangote through this stuff has belt roads, MTN has belt roads. Some big multinational companies have belt roads, including NNPC, taking advantage of this tax credit scheme. In fact, in the next few years to come, by the time all these major companies begin to take up the initiative to build infrastructure, instead of paying 100% that they may pay 70 to 80% and keep 20% for themselves, by using this money to build infrastructure, there will be a lot of infrastructure revolution ongoing side by side what the government is already doing with its own resources so this is a very a, a, a very nice one by the nnpc nnpc is doing a lot nnpc is doing a lot in fact many sectors are doing a lot cbn is doing a lot nnp is doing a lot the um department of works and housing doing a lot department of transport ministry of transport my god doing a lot see there see the railways see the bridges see the See the, see the long thousands of kilometers of roads being created across the length and breadth of this country. The Ministry of Agri is doing a lot. A lot is going on. A lot of foundational work for building Nigeria is going on. At the same time, people are cursing, people are hitting, people are shouting. Come and watch Isaac News. Let us remind you and educate you on what, and just keep you informed on what is going on. So we thank the NMPC for what's going on. And you know, we hope that this will continue and other ministries are going to um, join them. Any person the first to do this, like I said, MTN, Dangote, and other big guys have been doing this already for one year plus, now, if not two years. NMPC has also joined them, being that it's now a limited liability company. Amazing, amazing, amazing one. At the end of this video, please like, share, subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you again. Remain blessed.